What's going on, everyone? Chris Jarzik, your Southwest Florida Realtor with MVP Realty, bringing you a double feature. Yes, you are seeing double. I have two houses side by side. Both are golf access. Both are 3,422 square feet with four bedrooms, a den, and four bathrooms. They are also pool homes. I'm going to go ahead and flip the camera around and give you guys the lengthy tour of these two beautiful homes let's go ahead and flip that camera around take you through Alrighty, guys here you are here is the first beautiful home nice seafoam green key west color and then the one right next door this one we're going to go through is furnished going to walk and talk you through this one i think karen is next door so we are going to go into the furnished model first and then take you guys through the unfurnished here we're coming into that den we mentioned nice high ceilings throughout no carpet beautiful tile beautifully staged you can buy this model staged if you like let me know in the comments what you think and also before we get too deep into it I'm seeing a lot of people liking and subscribing to other YouTubers who give you guys home tours and I'm getting my feelings hurt. I'm just kidding. It's not a contest, but I am a competitive guy. I do like to negotiate and I do like to uh, do my best with everything. So if you could go ahead and hit that subscribe button, I'd be lying if I said I did not look at the analytics and a thousand of you keep returning to the channel to watch, but you don't subscribe. So hook me up with that subscribe and that like, and we will be even happier with the channel results. So here we are in the living and kitchen area. We've got the nice L-shaped sliders that pocket right here. And there's another slider over there. We've got dining room here and the beautiful kitchen and a lot of people have been saying there's not a lot of counter space on this side where your stove and range are plenty of counter space here and we've got a nice large island i'm gonna go this way and do the upstairs and the guests first before we head over to the primary and outside i'm gonna duck on over to oh i gotta get the garage i remember i remember somebody mentioned getting the garages let's go and take a quick peek at the three car garage with the beautiful epoxy floor finish three car there slop sink get your lennox ac water heater there Plenty of room to store your vehicles and or your boat. But why would you store your boat in the house when you can put it out back in your golf access canal? Here we have the beautiful laundry room. Little folding area there, but I don't know anybody would stand in here and fold. Usually you do that while watching TV. Or if you're me, you just continuously let it pile up until it gets too crazy and you got to do it. Here we have guest bedroom one, beautiful tray ceilings, very nice neutral color. The barn door, people either love or hate these. Oh, that was a little bit much, a little stronger than I thought I was there. Guest bedroom one, out of the way. This will take us upstairs to that loft area. Here we have a beautiful guest bath. Remember, we've got four full baths in here. Nice counter space. And that's me. I'm not afraid to reveal myself on camera. Karen's a little nervous. She doesn't like it. But everybody's different. Here we have the suite. This is bedroom number two nice closet you got nice natural light coming through that transom and through this slider here and then you have 
your guest bath. Very lovely tile work, interesting commode or toilet. And we have our vanity here with access out to the pool area. Love those blinds. We're gonna go on upstairs. Hopefully I make it without passing out. It's a long way up these bad boys. Gotta do that cardio, guys. Whew, here we go. Nice and cool up here. ACs are running good. Here we have the third bedroom. A little bit smaller, eh, maybe about the same size as the other two. Looked smaller at first. Closet's a little smaller, but this is definitely a guest room for you guys. Or maybe if you needed a second office, you could pull this one off, even though you have a den. Give you guys a shot of don't drop the camera. Here we have upstairs bathroom. This is number three. So remember, four bedrooms with a den, four full baths, golf access, 3,422 square feet, and this extra loft up here. A lot of things can be done up here. Game room, you could set up your TV right there. You could have a quote unquote man cave or she cave i don't know they have she sheds so whatever whatever floats your boat a lot of extra use up here kids play area and let's see we're gonna go out on the lanai give you guys a look at that roof those tiles slate tiles that's that pool we'll get down there in a minute try not to film people on the other side of the canal but here we have that golf access canal if you're curious about the access throw that question down there I'll let you know an estimate of how long it will take you to get to the river and the amount of bridges and you do have to go through a boat lock but I think the lock still has not been closed since Ian I believe it's two bridges. I have to double check though. I do not go out to the Gulf this way. So I do not know, I'll admit that. This particular canal is not one that I use, but I do have about 10 maps that I can find out that information. We're gonna go on over to the primary. Oh, I forgot to mention, we've got a little bar area here and a nice pantry place is so big that I'm forgetting to show you guys certain things. Love that fan too. Giant propeller. And we're going into the primary suite here. We've got large living area here for you guys. You can probably get away with another chair and maybe even a love seat in here for this uh, primary room. I don't want to say living area, but lots of space, I should say. You can definitely make work. And obviously, pool area we'll get to. And let's check out the closet. Good amount of space, as you've seen in some of the videos. They've been, some builders are doing wire racks. They've opted to go with wood instead. Looks a lot better. Not as cheap. And we have closet number two, which is pretty standard. Sorry, gotta slow down. I know people are getting getting sick when they watch the videos. It's not a roller coaster, so we'll slow down. Maybe we'll find Karen for the second tour. I'm not sure if she is still working on her socials. Here we have the standalone tub. And if you are new to the channel, and you haven't subscribed, please do so. If you are returning and a subscriber, you guys know how I feel about these bad boys. 
I'm a big fan of the rain shower. I hate when they're not in, especially when the showers are very, very large like this. Got some seating area here. Really nice tile work. There's me again. Nice vanity. And then your rain shower. Let me know what you guys think. Do you prefer the rain shower? Do you not care? Who knows? Let me know what you think in those comments down below. Also, here's a rendition of Outdoor Kitchen, which they could have set up, or they, they can set up out here, but they haven't set it up. So you've got your hookups for water, electric, everything else. And here we are with your outdoor living space. <coughs> oh, let me drink some water been a long day. I've been talking quite a bit. Been on the phone with a lot of out-of-state buyers. I wanted to thank everyone who is watching the channel and calling, texting, emailing, looking for information on properties here in southwest Florida. A lot of people are looking to get out of the cold. I was talking to one client this morning. It was 46 in New Jersey. You can keep that. I haven't been back in 20 some years. I loved it when I was there, but uh, I'll definitely take poolside any day. And here we have a nice spa, the spillover, Pebble Tech finish, that Lestello there. Give you guys a shot of the Lanai here. And this is the Gulf Access Canal. Put a dock out here. You are good to go. As always, I'm going to throw that... Uh, pricing and all the specs that I mentioned in the description box below. Four bedroom, four full bath with a den, 3,422 square feet built in 2024. Now let's go on over to the unfinished one and do a real quick walk and talk. Let's see where Karen is. Where did she go? Oh, that wind. She might be over here. I'm gonna cut the video, guys, and pick it up when I find her. Right here. You're not filming that, I hope? No. <laughs> well, I found Karen. We're back. I think the mic is still on. It's a little warmer in here. The AC is up. But this is the basically the flip-flop version of what you guys just saw when we were over at the house that was the seafoam green color looked more like key west this one's got different color palette for you flip-flop version same basic idea but we'll give you guys a quick tour so den was on the other side hence flip-flop so here we have the den and i don't think i mentioned it but i mentioned it in other homes very nice ad here when you have your electric in the floor this way you're not running cords everywhere uh let's just go right into the primary so this is the primary for house number two as you can see different colors a little bit darker wood you can stay there if you want karen you guys know she doesn't want to be on this uh and as we talked before you guys know how i am if you're new to the channel I'm a big stickler for the rain shower. This one here, they have a extension, so it's a little bit lower. The other one seemed to be like sky high for some reason. But uh, yeah, definitely nice tile work from floor to ceiling. Nice Lestello, love the bench. Let me know what you guys think about it. And then you have your large countertop with your dual sinks and your soaking tub and i think yeah pretty much you guys are familiar with the uh toilet area here pretty standard although it's a different shaped toilet but pretty common here we have closet number one no wire racks it's not a california closet but they did do a little upgrade with the wood and same as the house next door zero carpet uh, tile throughout and closet number two <clears throat>
fairly similar to the other one, although this one seems smaller than the one next door. Let me see if I could do a side by side with it. This one does seem just a tad smaller, even though the square footages are identical. Furniture does kind of throw it off when you see unfurnished versus furnished. So you guys can rewind and kind of check that out. But you do have access to your pool area, hurricane glass throughout, and I realize it's not another social platform, but yes, you can get insurance in Florida. That's a very heated and well-debated topic. Well, actually, it's not really well-debated. It's just a heated conversation. For some reason, I don't know why people have this thing saying you cannot insure your home in Florida, which is completely false. So we definitely have people that can insure your home. Uh, also, let me know what you guys think of this. Back when I first got started in real estate in the early 2000s, 2004 and 05, a lot of homes had build outs. Now they're sort of making their way back. This one's got a stone finish to it, but they did do a lot of cutouts where you know they would bring the drywall out and it would sort of take away from the living space on the smaller homes. Let me know what you guys think of this style or would you rather prefer a flat wall? And oh, another, another big one here for you guys that uh, have, need a lamp here if you don't think there's enough light or if you have uh, reclining chairs or sofas, massage chair, that comes in handy. So similar to the other place, like I said, just flip-flopped with a different color palette. You have your bar area here, perfect for entertaining. We've got our large pantry for all of the snacks. And if you know me, I love the snacks too much. Nice appliance packages. Uh, let's see. We talked about at the other house, the counter space. A lot of people were saying this side of the counter or this side of the kitchen didn't have enough counter space and you had to do it all over here. This will give you a little bit more area to work with. Uh, definitely fit your coffee maker. And I believe might've been Keith. Uh, don't quote me on that. He was mentioning that his air fryer and a coffee maker wouldn't fit in some of these houses. So this would definitely work for him depending on the size of his air fryer. <clears throat> so let's go on over dining area pretty standard as you guys saw at the other place they had a pretty large table that six I believe maybe eight and as you can see we've got our beautiful Lanai area on golf access let's hit the suite bedroom number one <clears throat> transom different color palette than next door they went with the lighter woods this is more of a darker wood you still have your access out to your lanai area and remember all of these sliders are hurricane impact as well that's a good spin around move if you notice karen kept herself out of the mirror guys <laughs> Very nice shower. Uh, floor to ceiling tile in this one as well. Um, let me know what you guys think of the stripe pattern going up. Would you rather it just be straight across? If you do a custom build, remember you can tweak and change these things, all the interior stuff very easily. And the elevations outside. Uh, when we say elevation, we don't mean height of the property, we mean you know, the design of it, the one next door, um, more so looked like it had siding, but it was stucco. So you can kind of tweak the outside elevation. A lot of production builders will have different elevations as well. <clears throat> guest bathroom right here. We'll call it guest bath number two. So pretty standard, the Listello's going up straight up to the ceiling, single sink in here, different color palette, uh, full mirror there. And I'll let Karen do a quick spin through this bedroom. Oh, 
both guest bedrooms or all three are pretty good size i think the one upstairs is seems slightly smaller it has a slightly oh wait where are we going you're pointing at me oh yeah sorry this one the hideaway she didn't want to say it but since we are under the stairs we do have a little extra storage space here as well as your shelving not quite sure if i'm gonna be able to get up there we go i'm getting older guys this is getting trickier as time goes on but we made it so you do have a little extra storage under there as well as that third car garage speaking of garage let's hit the laundry room and the garage take you guys upstairs and out back and we'll let you get on your way maytag appliances you've got uh very nice blue cabinets. I like these versus the other side. Folding area here. Nice natural light coming in. Definitely a nice large laundry room with your small sink as well. And we've got a storage closet with that. So you keep your vacuum cleaner, all your other cleaning items in there if you so choose. Coming on in, remember there's been a lot of requests for show the garage. So here we are, three car garage with your epoxy non-flip floor. And then you definitely have access out to the side of the house and a nice slop sink so that you can kind of get cleaned up out here versus going through your house uh, with grass or mud on, depending on what you were doing outside if you handle your own lawn and maintenance. And you have your Lennox AC up there. Let Karen come on through. We'll start heading upstairs. Show you that loft area. Let me sneak in front. Whew. And remember guys, this is 3,422 square feet, four bedrooms with a den, four full baths. So here is bedroom number four, if you have extra guests over. And I mentioned at the other house, if you needed a second office, this one would probably be the best fit um, because the other one has a bathroom. But this one would probably work better if you happen to need a second office, even though you already have a, a den or flex. Here we have your final bathroom. Pretty similar to the one downstairs with the color scheme and the Stello straight up and down. And as we mentioned before, lots of things that you could do up here. You could have this as your poker room, your movie room, you know, sports, whatever you so choose, kids play area. And we take you guys out to the upstairs lanai. Remember, this is the flip-flop version of the house next door with a slightly different color scheme. So as you can see, golf access, we're looking at about a hundred foot canal. Oh, fish jumping. I don't know if you caught that, but uh, over a hundred foot canal. If you have questions on the access, looks like somebody's getting ready to go out over there. If you have questions on the access, let me know. I can send you a map, let you know estimate wise how long it would take you to get out. Remember, this is not the canal that I go down. It's close to it, but mine is a couple miles away. Close this up and lock that. We don't want Spider-Man to come in. We're going to head downstairs and show you guys the lanai on this particular property versus next door. Watch your step. Let me clip this microphone on real quick. Hopefully you guys are still picking me up. And remember, like I mentioned next door, 
pocket sliders all the way on the L shape. And when I say pocket, what I mean is these will come through all the way to the end of the track here. So it will open up completely so you have a full view of your outdoor area. I showed you guys the rendition of the outdoor kitchen. You got hot and cold and a drain there along with all your electric. You could, and a range hood can go up there. They have that set up for uh, access. So when you're cooking, it'll pull all the smoke and grease up through and out. And as you can see, paver, yeah, paver driveway. Sorry, well, that's out front. Pavered lanai, plenty of space under truss, lots of fans, lots of lighting to keep you cool. Well, the lightings don't keep you cool, but the fans will. And then more importantly, your beautiful pool. Sun shelf with the spa, spillover, beautiful tile work, nice coping. Very little obstruction on the view with the screen setup. And then you also have access down to your lanai, or to your lanai, down to the water through that door there, or the one to our right. I think that about covers it, everyone. I want to thank you guys for checking out today's double feature home tour. If you have questions on either of these homes or this builder, feel free to give me a call or shoot me a text. I will put the specs for both houses, even though they're pretty similar, if not exactly the same, down in that description box below with my contact information. If you have a question about these two, any other properties in Southwest Florida, looking to buy or sell, feel free to give me a call or shoot me a text. My number is 239-823-1685. And also do not forget to hit that like and that subscribe button. I'm Chris Jarzik with MVP Realty. Thank you for checking out today's video and I will see you on the next one.